everybody. It's me, Carmine Stefano, the book man. What do you get when you take the Elder Scrolls engine, modernize it, add some apocalyptic aspects that are turning the world into a mutating... Oh, this one's got a European feel of magic spells. I give you the highly acclaimed, greatly anticipated Bethesda Softworks Arcane Studios collaboration called Dishonored. Is it as good as Bethesda's other popular titles? Well, let's take a look at it together, shall we? I'm open! When you are near, my heart is at peace. Um, thanks? You are the guardian to the royal throne, back from some specific mission. You, Corvo, were to find out the truth to rumors about a cure for this terrible plague to the Empress. Alas, it yielded no results. Then... Emily, come here! A group of assassins kills the Empress, kidnaps her rightful heir, while leaving you behind to foot the blame. Sure, blame the guy with the Italian name. Turns out it was all set up by high government. Escape prison to meet Samuel. He'll take you to the secret hideout of a rebel group looking to bring the royal family back. Among this is this guy, Piero, who fits you with... This is terrible. In your dreams, you see... Hello, Corvo. <laughs> He'll grant you nerdy powers necessary to take out your first target, this religious overseer. Alright, time to fuck the aristocracy. <laughs> I go the non-violent route, then bring his encrypted journal back. Now it's off to settle the Pendleton twins' hash. Their younger brother is a big part of the resistance, yet still wants them dead. I deal with this guy Slackjaw first. Why? You and me had a deal, and Slackjaw never goes back on a deal. Because he's Slackjaw. I get a safe combination info from this art dealer. Later in this cat house, I run into... Corvo? Corvo, it's you! With the combination, Slackjaw takes care of the Pendleton brothers non-lethally. Now we kidnap the royal scientist. Well, that was easy enough. Take him to home base where everyone's starting to act weird. This young woman talks of her safe house. You can go there for safety. I know I will. Oh, uh, thanks. And Piero is stunning up on... Can't you see? I'm about to bathe. That's the point, sweetheart. Moving right along, we get Solkov here to give us our next target. One of the Boyle sisters serves as the Emperor's usurper's side piece. I actually killed this one. Imagine that, me killing a hot piece of ass. How ironic, huh? With the mistress dead, the region is exposed. To the tower where the screw job happened. I upload the region's confessions throughout the airwaves, non-lethal again. Back to the pub for some quality celebrating. Whew, good. Glad that's over. I'm just gonna go... What's happening? Remember, we need the body. If we come forward with the corpse of the man who murdered the Empress... Ah, shit, you're turning on me too? Your allies dump you in the river to be picked up by those who assassinated the Empress. Use all your skill to escape the streets. In the sewers, you learn a witch has Slackjaw. Of course I help Slackjaw. Cause he's Slackjaw. Now ain't that funny. From there, return to the pub. You rescue Emily's teacher, then set off a flare for Samuel to come pick you up. He takes you to the lighthouse, where you dispose of Admiral Jagoff as you see fit. Find Emily and... oh, I... I guess that's... When your hair turns white and you pass from this world, Empress Emily, Emily the Wise, at the height of her power, will lay your body down within her mother's great tomb. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So what did I think of this game? Well, I enjoyed it for the five minutes that I actually played it. I mean, it's really, really short, especially for a Bethesda game. You pretty much have eight missions, and two of them are escapes. There are only seven distinct locales, all of which have countless guards and nothing else. 
There may be a fuck ton of ways to get to your targets, more ways to kill them, and a bunch of different overall effects that lead to different endings. Even so, it's very straightforward and, as all Bethesda games, anticlimactic. This may be the Bioware talking, but faceless heroes don't woo me over. I like to know what my character says and thinks rather than see nothing but hands. This game was like Bioshock getting knocked up by Fallout 3. You rescue the Empress quickly, get betrayed quickly, then find your way back quickly, and that's it. Despite that, it's a fun play. There are good, non-playable characters, great powers, and slick stealth. It is very satisfying to whip out the quiet chokeholds in order to free your path. Possession, zipping from pillar to pillar, seeing in night vision, I barely scraped the black art surface and was pleased. I went a whole playthrough without really firing a gun. Though the story is standard, the controls are sleek and empowering. It's good you're able to save often, because this game is freaking HARD! You alert one guard and the whole freaking armed forces are on your ass. The stronger your powers are, the easier you can escape. But man, it ain't easy. Save every chance you get or get ready to do a lot of play over. You also might want to shove a stick in your mouth to avoid gnashing your teeth to nubs! Overall, I suggest picking this game up, either renting it or buying it, but go through every last side mission there is available. Getting all the runes, finding all the shrines, you name it, whatever they got in there, try to get the perfect, perfect mission ending. Otherwise, you'll probably forget you even went through it. But thank you all for watching. I have more for you soon to come. So stay tuned, take care, and have a great day. Now ain't that funny?